So let's take a look at the following quick example in which we're going to calculate the average energy of an electron found inside a metal solid by first using quantum mechanics and then taking the classical mechanics approach. So find the average energy of an electron in a metal solid using a quantum mechanics and be classical mechanics assuming that the temperature is 1000 Kelvin and the energy or the Fermi energy of our metal solid is 7.5 electron volts. So let's begin with part A. So in part A we want to apply quantum mechanics. So we want to use the Fermi energy. So to calculate the average energy of an electron, we simply multiply the Fermi energy by 3 fifths or, or 0 0.6 and we get about 4.5 electron volts. Now if we want to calculate the velocity of our electron, we can do so by applying our non-relativistic kinetic energy equation. So basically the velocity is about equal to 1 times 10 to the 6 meters per second in such a case. Now in part B, if we want to calculate the kinetic energy of the electron using classical physics, we basically assume that the electron is an ideal gas. So that means we can apply the following equation. The kinetic energy of the electron is equal to 3 halves multiplied by Boltzmann constant multiplied by the temperature in kelvins. And we get 3 halves multiplied by the constant multiplied by 1000 kelvins and we get about 2.07 times 10 to negative 20 joules or equivalently 0.13 electron volts. So we see that even at a high temperature there is a very large error when we use classical mechanics. So we get this quantity versus the actual value of about 4.5 electron volts if we use quantum mechanics. In fact if we calculate the velocity this will give us only a velocity of about 2.1 times 10 to the 5 meters per second. And if our temperature decreases, we see that this quantity doesn't actually change, but this becomes even less. And that means there is a greater error when we're using classical mechanics for lower temperature than when we're dealing with higher temperatures.